Here we go, open field tackling. Yes, now it's labeled as DB open field tackling. And when I refer to the tackler, I may use defensive back. Okay, I may use DB. But the biggest thing, you guys gotta understand, we've gotta get this taught to everybody. Okay, and it behooves you to get it taught before spring ball if you could. Okay, to start to tie in all the footwork. Okay, if that's possible. Now, obviously the defensive backs have gotta get, you gotta get it taught to them because they play in space all the time, yes? So that's number one. Number two, you've got to get it taught to the inside linebackers against screen and draw. They might start to drop, okay? The ball's handed on draw. When they come back, there is no more run through. They've got to shimmy up to it because now you're putting them in some space, okay? Number three, the outside linebackers against screen and check down need to know how to shimmy, okay? If that makes sense to you. And also on special teams. And the nice thing is what? It's usually our linebackers and defensive backs running down on punt coverage and kickoff coverage, yes? Okay, you can get it taught to your D-line as they are, if they're trail players, okay, if something comes back, whether it's reverse or the back cuts back to them late, okay, you're going to put them in space. A lot of times you guys see def uh, defense alignment whiff when the back cuts back to them late, okay, so we've got to get this taught to everybody. The gist about open field tackling is this, three steps away from the ball carrier, I got to know what I do with my eyes and my feet based on what he's showing me. Okay, you can go ahead and face them. Okay, Brett is the, is the ball carrier. Okay, he's the ball carrier, the receiver, the return man. Three steps away, I've got to know, are his pads at me? Okay, go ahead and turn sideways. All I can see is his profile, yes? Go ahead and turn on a 40, like on a 45. Or maybe I am unsure. Okay, they've got to know. If his pads are at me or I'm unsure, you will always shimmy. We call it the shimmy. You guys might hear major college guys call it come to balance. Okay, we call it the shimmy. I don't like calling it come to balance because we don't ever want to stop in place, if that makes sense to you. We want to keep coming at him. Okay, and we'll show you how we get that taught in a second. Now, number one, the first thing we're going to go over because it's the most important. We teach this to the defensive backs first. Okay. We teach them what happens when his pads are at you, or maybe you are unsure, because they get that a ton. Now, what's going to happen is this. We're going to start on the field. We'll be out here for about an hour. Okay, we're going to go open field tackling against the run, and defensive backs open field tackling against the pass. Okay, we're going to go inside. We're going to take a look at some of the drill cuts on open field tackling against the pass. Then you guys will take a look at game cuts. We've got high school cuts from our kids from Mary Mesa the past couple of years. All shimmy tackling. Okay, you'll see the good and the bad. Okay, then we'll take a look at some game cuts from guys in major college in the NFL. A lot of whiffs. There'll also be some good tackling on there, but there'll be a lot of whiffs. Just so you guys have a clue of what's going on. Now, the first thing we got to get taught is the shimmy stance. Three steps away from that ball carrier, his pads are at me. Okay, or maybe I am unsure. Now, this is what's going to happen. Both you guys come out here. Okay, Brett, why don't you face that way? Robbie, you're going to face this way. Guys, give yourself some space. You're just doing the shimmy stance. Okay, now, the shimmy stance. Number one, you get your feet under your nipples or under your armpits. Do not get them too wide. Okay, that's a big no-no. When you see guys in major college in the NFL shimmy, they get their feet way too wide because they're so damn fast. Okay, and they're trying to really slow down. But that's bad, and you guys will see why later. Okay, you want your feet under your nipples or under your armpits. Number two, you want a good Z in the knee. You really have to drop your butt. You have really got to drop your butt, which you guys are going to see here in a second in the transition. The way you slow down quite a bit is by dropping your butt and finding a new center of gravity. That's what's going to slow you down more than anything. So you really got to drop your butt. Get your shoulders back a mile. Okay? It's an exaggeration, yes? We want our shoulders back a mile. Get them back. Okay? Because you coach this all week to get that. You start coaching that, you're going to start to get that. Yes, you've got to get your shoulders back. Remember, this is not profile tackling. This is not putting your chest on your quads and get your eyes at ball level. Okay, you've got to get your shoulders back. Next, you've got to get your hands in the holsters. Here, okay, you've got to get your hands in the holsters. That ball carrier is going to appear right now. You've got to be able to hit up, especially on special teams. It happens in a hurry. Okay, so you get your hands in the holsters. And for now, just go ahead and get your eyes straight ahead. Okay, we'll talk about the eyes in a second. Big, all your feet are in the ground. Put all your feet in the ground. Here we go, set. Shoulders back, get them back. Thumbs are straight ahead. Thumbs straight ahead, shoulders back a mile. Drop their butt, good Z in the knee, all their feet in the ground. 
Good, stand up. Set. Good, and stand up. That is the shimmy stance. Okay, now big, you get this coached in mass. So every kid you've got that's working this, they're all going at once. Yes, you put them in lines and give them some space. So that's number one. Number two, we're gonna teach them how to shimmy. The shimmy, three inch steps, keep coming at the guy. Okay, do not ever stop and chop your feet in place. That's the worst thing you can do. Why? You guys know that what? We teach them to keep their shoulders back, yes? Okay, as soon as your kid starts to take off, if he ever chops in place, the first thing that's gonna happen, his shoulders are gonna come over. He's gonna start to get antsy. He's waiting for the guy. Then he's gonna dive and lunge for him. Okay, you've got to keep coming at the guy. Even in open field tackling, we are gonna hit up and we are gonna run right through you. And we're gonna take you for your own end zone. Okay, so you've got to keep coming at the guy. This is the way we get it taught. Both of you guys go ahead and face this way. Okay, number one, we go on the bird dog. Every time I say hit, you're gonna take a step, three inches, three inches. Just slide your feet in the ground. Get all your feet in the ground, okay? And I'll talk about what tends to happen to them here in a second, okay? But when you coach it, get all your feet in the ground. We're gonna go left foot take off first. Now take a look at me, this is what's gonna happen. Every time I say hit, they're gonna take a step. Now big, it's three steps away from the guy, yes? Three steps away, and we don't want it any sooner than that. So when you're coaching the footwork, don't make them go too long. Just because you're coaching the footwork, you're gonna to start to teach them bad habits. Okay, you're gonna to start to teach them bad habits. When we get done with this thing today, the biggest problem kids have in open field tackling, it's not that they're soft on the hit up, it's that they shimmy too soon. Okay, they shimmy too soon, and that's where you're gonna see the missed tackles in open field tackling. Okay, it's not because they're soft in a, in a pre-contact hit up position. It's because they shimmy too soon. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, you guys can just hang on a second. Every time I say hit, you're gonna take a step. Set, hit, 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 hit. When I don't say anything, you freeze it. Okay, keep your shoulders back and your kids will stay there until you have gone up and down and coached them all, yes? Here we go, left foot takeoff on the bird dog. Set, hit, 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 hit. Freeze it, shoulders back, eyes straight ahead, hands are in the holsters. Good, and stand up, turn around, we're coming back. Right foot takeoff on the bird dog. Now big, it's light, okay, it's light. Do not pound your knees in the ground, okay? It is not loud, it's light, it's light. So just slide them on the ground, three inches. Big, again, go ahead and stand up. We coach three inches. Your better athletes will give you three inches. Other kids will give you four or five, that's okay. But coach three inches, don't coach any more than that, you're just gonna get longer steps, yes? Here we go, right foot takeoff on the bird dog, set. Hit, 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 hit. Freeze it, get your shoulders back. Sit back on your haunches, thumbs straight ahead. Good, and stand up. So that is the shimmy on the bird dog. Here we go, turn it around. Okay, I'm gonna show them real quick, then you guys will go. We're gonna go left foot take off. We're going half speed on go. Keep coming at the guy, so it's gonna be set. Go, sit. Okay, when I say sit, you freeze it. Go ahead and take a look at me. Here we go, left foot take off, set. Go, sit. Okay, you don't wanna go very far. Now big, let's talk about your better athletes. Your better natural athlete is gonna come up on the front half of his foot when he shimmies. He's gonna come up here, and that's fine. It's easier to move that way, okay? We don't mind when that happens, but you can't coach it that way. You've gotta coach them to get all their feet in the ground. Why? We've all got them. That kid that can flat ass run, but he is out of control. Okay, that kid that just can burn, but he is out of control. So he comes flying up. If he starts to shimmy on the front half of his foot, boy, that guy's gonna be out of control. So he's that guy you can get on when he screws it up. Drop your butt, get your feet in the ground. It'll slow you down, okay, if that makes sense. So that's why we coach that, okay? Here we go, left foot takeoff, half speed on go. Set, go, sit. Again, don't make him go too far, yes? Good, stand up, here we go, turn around. Right foot take off, half speed on go, set, go, set. Keep coming at the guy, that is huge. Good, and stand up. Finally, left foot take off, we're going full speed. Set, go, that's how it sits down, yes? Get your ass going. Keep coming at the guy, that's important. Here we go, left foot take off, full speed on go, set, go, 
go. Sit. Shoulders back, thumbs straight ahead. Okay, go ahead and put your heels down a little bit. We don't want them that far off the ground. Drop your butt. Good, and stand up. Finally, here we go. Right foot take off, full speed on, go. Sit. Go. Sit. Good, nice and light. Good, and stand up. And if you guys ever have a question, please feel free to ask, yes? Okay, so we've taught them to shimmy, yes? Now, we've got to teach them the transition from a sprint to a shimmy. You're closing on kickoff coverage. You're closing on punt coverage. You're a defensive back, you're closing on run. You're a defensive back, you're closing on pass. Okay, you're an inside outside backer. You're closing the screen draw check down. Get your ass up there, that is number one. Okay, you go as hard as you can go. And then three steps away, you'll determine what you need to do. But you need to go. That's what we call the close, yes? Now, once your kids have learned to shimmy full speed, they will always shimmy full speed. What we change in the transition is the speed of the close. We're going to go quarter speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. Half speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. And then finally, it's just full speed on go. But do not assume that your kids, just because they can shimmy, can really drop their butt and get the transition down, yes? Okay, so here we go. We'll go one guy at a time. Robbie's up first, then Brett, you'll go second, and you're heading that way. Okay, get your shoulders over. Because you're in the close, yes? Ball's already up, something happened. You've got to take off. Okay, so you got your shoulders over. You're in a sprint. On go, you're a quarter speed in the close. Till I say shimmy. On shimmy, it's full speed, yes? When I say sit, you're going to freeze it. Really drop your butt and pull your shoulders back. That'll slow you down. Keep coming at the guy. Do not ever shimmy in place. Here we go. Quarter speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. Set. Go. Shimmy. Set. Good, get them down quick, keep coming. Stay off your toes, drop your heels down. You're overextended. Good, and stand up. Here we go, Brett's up. You see, if his heels are off the ground that much, that's not good. If you get on the front half of your foot and not your toe, you'll be better off, yes? So we want the front half of the foot in the ground. Here we go. Quarter speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. Set, go. Shimmy, set. Shoulders back. Good. Here we go. Robbie's up. Half speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. Here we go. Set. Go. Shimmy. Set. Good. There you go. Keep coming. Nice balance. Good. Way to drop your butt, get your feet in the ground. Nice job. Here we go. Half speed on go. Set. Go. Shimmy. Set. Good. Keep coming. Yes, that's important. Good. Okay, and then finally, it would be full speed. Yes, I'm not going to make him do it. But on full speed, we know it's on what? Go! Okay, get going. Shimmy! Sit! Okay, get a sense of urgency. Now, remember, you can have as many kids going at a time that you want. Okay, so that's the transition. So once they've learned to shimmy full speed, they will always shimmy full speed. Okay, what you change is the transition. Okay, now, now we're going to partner them up. So you've got 100 kids out there. There should be 50 groups of two. 50 groups of two. Now, this is what's going to happen. Brett, uh, let's find some grass here. Brett, go ahead and stand right here. Okay? Robbie is his partner. Robbie is going to be the open field tackler, yes? What you do, you stand shoulder to shoulder. One, two, three, and turn around and get head up on them. Okay? So go ahead and do that. So all our kids are doing that. Take three steps and turn around. Okay? Now, you're talking to all of them. Men, you take a good look at it. Take a look at where you are in relation to that ball carrier. You will never, ever, ever shimmy any sooner than that, ever. It's better to shimmy late than it is early. Okay? You don't want to shimmy early. And I told you, when your kids miss tackles in the shimmy, it's not because they're soft on the hit up. It's because they shimmy too soon. Okay? And then there's just too much space to operate there. I like to talk to our kids about different things in terms of football, but it's not football, it's basketball, okay? Or it's baseball, something that is not football but relates to football, yes? Okay, and in terms of shimmy and late, we like to talk basketball players, okay? Now down in San Diego, closest team us is the LA Lakers. Okay, so we used to always bring up Kobe Bryant. Now, let's assume that Kobe Bryant's got the ball and he's at the top of the three-point key. And you've got to assume that I'm a pretty good defender, I'm not just some nobody, yes? So if Robbie was Kobe Bryant, okay, go ahead and turn around. Okay, Robbie was Kobe Bryant. He's got the ball at the top of the three-point key. Now, I'll see how much you guys know about basketball. Okay, and he's got the basketball. Would I be better off up here in his face, 
Okay, or would I be better off back here guarding them? Anybody know? In his face, yes? Because you're cutting down on his room to operate, assuming he's not going to run right by me, right? Okay, but you're cutting down on his room to operate up here. You just shut it down. Up here, okay, if I give him too much space, as he starts to move, he can cross over and keep coming back, and he's going to get you leaning all over the place. Does that make sense? So you've got to get up in his face. It's the same thing in open field tackling. You've got to get up in his face and big. Your kids are going to want to do it, okay? Because it happened to our kids at Mara Mesa. At Mara Mesa, our kids have, can flat ass run, okay? They can run. And what happens is we got some receivers that can run, okay? I don't know if you guys know a guy named J.R. Tolver. He played at San Diego State. He plays for Miami Dolphins. Well, his younger brother played receiver for us. And this kid is quicker and snot. Okay, I think he got a scholarship to San Luis Obispo. Well, the problem was he was so quick and so fast that when our defensive backs came up to shimmy on him, they would shimmy too soon. Okay, thinking that, oh, I've got to slow down because he's going to juke me out. That is absolutely wrong. That is ass backwards. Keep closing because all those guys are going to do all this, but they're not going to go anywhere. Does that make sense? So you've really got to learn to be patient. If you start to do that back here, boy, you're giving that kid a lot of space to work. Okay, but if you close and be patient with it, you will shimmy. He can do all this and not go anywhere, okay, if that makes sense. So you've got to be patient. Okay, now go ahead and turn around. So he's three steps off. So does that make sense, you guys? Shimmy late, not early, because those game cuts, you're going to see some guys shimmy too soon. You'll see the problem with it, okay? Now, on set, I want you in the shimmy stance, okay? I want you in the shimmy stance. Your eyes go to his belt or his upper thigh in here when you shimmy, okay? In here when you shimmy. Why do we do that? Pretty soon, you're going to start seeing the ball carrier cut, and we've got to react to that, yes? Okay, but the biggest thing, you can't stare at his feet. That'll bring your shoulders over. Okay, does that make sense? If you're staring at his feet, that's going to bring you over here. Okay, if you look up here, boy, he can give you all that and still not go anywhere. Okay, and a lot of people will do that. You look at his belt or his upper thigh, you can still see him cut up here. Okay, so here we go. On set, just get your eyes on his belt or his upper thigh. Here we go. Set. Shoulders back, eyes are on his belt or his upper thigh. Good, and stand up. On go, you're full speed in the shimmy. We'll go left foot take off. You're full speed in the shimmy. You're gonna shimmy up with your eyes on his belt or his upper thigh until you can put your chin on him. Then you're gonna stare at his throat, okay? It's the same in open field tackling as it is if I had a profile tackle. You don't try to hit up and double time your knees till you can step on his feet and smell his breath, yes? So you're gonna shimmy up with your eyes on his belt or his upper thigh until you can put your chin on him, and then you're going to stare at his throat. Okay, here we go. Full speed on go, left foot take off. Scout, you aren't moving. Set. Go. Good, I'm back. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Sorry about that. Here we go. One more time. Right foot take off, full speed on go. Set. Go. Good. Okay, now. The nice thing about this, what you guys are going to see, okay, if you get this top before spring ball, I don't know what the rule is up here, okay, but we've been practicing for a while and our head coach tells us we can't use shields, so we don't, okay, he tells us we can't hit anything. That's fine, okay. All this stuff you can teach on air without shields, you can teach in shorts with shields, okay, or you can use in pads and nothing changes, okay, nothing changes. The only thing that changes is how fast the bat goes and how hard you're going to hit them. Okay, that's all that changes. It's going to be the same drill. Okay, go ahead and walk off your three steps. We always start them head up because, number one, we're just teaching them how to do it. Number two, that's the hardest because you guys know what? We're all leverage players one way or the, or the other. So I've always got to get to one peck or the other. So I'm always coming from one side or the other. And that makes it easier because when you start to shimmy, he's basically got a one-way option. Okay, if that makes sense. Now, on go, it's left foot takeoff, full speed on go. You're going to shimmy up till you can put your chin on him. Then you're going to hit up, double time your knees, and take him for 10 yards, running for his own end zone. Here we go. Scout, don't give him any pressure. Here we go. Brett, you can hold the handles. He can hold. He's going to hit up. Here we go. And if you wanted to, you could just make him do a chest pop. Right? If their hips weren't very good, the explosion wasn't very good, you can have them shimmy and just pop their hips, double time their knees high and wide. Yes, that's up to you. Here we go. Full speed on go. Set. Go. Oh, nice. Squeeze your elbows. Double time them. Double time them. 
Good, on back. Nice job. We'll go for 10 yards, yes? So if you're on air, shoot me up, put your chin on them. You got a shield, just keep coming, yes? Does that make sense to you guys? Okay? Good job, Robbie. Okay, Brett, go ahead and put the shield down. Walk off your three steps. Turn around. Okay? Take a look at it. Now, you're going to back up five yards. Okay? This is on your paper. It's from five yards off. We call this style points. Style points. Now we're starting to get into the transition a little bit, yes? Scouts, in style points, you never move. Okay? You never move, even if you've got a shield. You never move in style points. Okay? We'll just go easy here. On go, you're a quarter speed in the close. Three steps away, you're full speed in the shimmy. Shimmy up with your eyes on his belt or his upper thigh until you can put your chin on him. Then stare at, your, then stare at his throat, yes? Okay, Brett, you're not moving. Here we go. Quarter speed on, go. Set. Go. Good, nice. Okay, Brett, go ahead and pick up a shield. We're not going to use the shield a ton out here today. I think you guys will get the point. I just want to show you how it changes. Okay. We'll always have them walk off three steps when they first start to learn it. Okay, when they first start to learn it. Uh, if you wanted to, if they were always in the same place, when the guy walks off his three steps, you can have him drop like one of them flat cones or something like that so he starts to figure it out. Okay, here we go. We'll go about half speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. When you can put your chin on him, hit up, double time your knees. Here we go, set, go. Good, nice hit up, squeeze your elbows, double time your knees. Good, on back. Back up about 10 yards. In style points, if you don't have a shield, the ball carrier is always going slower than he is. So if we're sending him half speed, he's only going to quarter speed, yes? That's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going half speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. Brett, you're coming at him at quarter speed. Big, if you don't have a shield, okay, scouts, just as soon as he starts to shimmy, stop so you guys don't bang into each other. If you add a shield, he could keep coming. Does that make sense? But because you don't have shields, they'll bang into each other. Okay, so it's a half speed in the close, full speed in the shimmy. I'm going to quarter speed. Just as soon as he starts to shimmy, stop. Don't shimmy too soon. Get your feet down quick, nice and light. Here we go. Set. Go. Good. Plus they start to time it, yes? Good, on back. Okay, then we would...